Good morning. Welcome to Parsnips and Parsimony. We have a very busy day today. Today is Saturday and those are always our busy, busy days. The chicken coop is almost done. Right now we're working on the chicken run. We just kind of set the metal roof up there for right now so the chickens would not escape. And there the chickens are. Uh, we were working on it a couple days ago and one of the chickens escaped and went into the neighbor's yard right there and we had to uh, go and take care of that and ask the neighbor if we could go catch the chicken in his yard but anyway we got the chicken the naughty chicken right there so right now what they're doing is putting the uh, uh, sewing the chicken wire together we have different sections here and Charity and Lydia are passing a wire back and forth to sew up those sections and you can see that we have a couple blueberry bushes that got stranded inside of the chicken run. And we are going to move those, uh, but it's not the time of year to move them. So we put a, well, we put some chicken wire around those to protect them for now. And those are going to get moved as soon as, uh, as fall hits. Lydia spotted a bug that needs identification. Where is it? Uh, oh, right there. That is, huh, I think it's a squash bug. That's a squash bug. Yeah, yeah, a naughty bug. I thought squash bugs were orange. Squash bugs? No, that is, um, yeah, that's a different type of squash bug. That's not a cucumber beetle, it's a squash bug. But yeah, it's probably pretty dangerous to be a bug near chickens. What I'm in the process of doing is cutting these boards down so that they fit uh, along the roof right here. And then we're going to nail the metal roof onto those boards. So I need nine of these. And in case if you're wondering where those came from, they came from our barn. We have, well, it's a little messy right now, but uh, anyway, we have some boards in the back of the barn, a big stack of boards that we got from our pigeon coop that we tore down. And I'm going to use those. So for breakfast this morning, we're having eggs with some hot cheese dogs. and hot dogs. Yeah, Peter put the hot dogs on and probably the cheese too. Yes. And Mary cooked the scrambled yes, eggs. Look. So those eggs right there are the fruits of our labors with the chicken, or the fruits of the chicken's labors. I have to show you something. This is our egg section. We have a lot of eggs right now. So we're actually starting to sell a few. Since we have so many chickens, we're getting approximately 20 to 25 eggs a day, and obviously we cannot eat that many. So we've started to sell some and give some away to people. Uh, when, as I was telling you, the chicken escaped into the neighbor's yard, uh, Charity brought over a dozen eggs for him. We already got some work done outside before breakfast while Mary was cooking, but now we're going to have breakfast and then we're going to work at full speed outside. Oh, and also a hurricane is coming, Hurricane Henry. I'm not sure if it's a hurricane or a tropical storm. I have not checked this morning, but it should hit tomorrow night. So we're going to try to get everything under control today. And uh, well, there's a lot to do outside. So Lily, where are you going? The library to get my prize shock. You got prize shock. Is that from the summer reading program? Awesome, that is so exciting. Good job. So we have a pretty extensive list for today, um, trying to get ready before Henry gets here. One of the big things is this chicken coop here. It's not quite done. The roof is not tied on. So Art's going to finish that today. We don't, I don't think we're going to get a lot of high winds, but we need to at least have that secure. So that's, I mean, that's a sheet metal roof that'll just fly in any type of wind. Oh, honey, could you pick these up? These shouldn't be on the ground, please. Could you pick those up, please, and put them in the barn? How long do those be? I don't know. Somebody put them on the ground. Thank you. So the other thing that I'm going to work on today is picking beans. It has been unbelievably humid this entire week. I have never, I'll say it again, I have never experienced so much humidity in one summer in my entire life. It's the first time I actually considered getting central air because of the humidity. But this part of it's because of all the storms and the hurricanes coming up. These bean towers have done amazing with all the water. Yes, Mary, you can gladly help me with the beans. No, We've got quite picking, the job picking. Oh, look at that it is. It's coming to the end though. We can actually harvest those seeds too. Do you know that? 
-hmm. You can just pick them off and we can dry them and plant them next year. Ooh. I haven't filmed much of my garden or working out here just because it's been so difficult to work out here with the rain and the humidity and trying to time it right. And so the garden definitely is not my stellar performance and it's sort of driving me nuts because, oh, thank you, just throw it right in the bucket. Um, this isn't how I like my gardens. I'm very type A. I like everything very neat and organized. And my garden is not neat and organized this year. And most of that is due to weather and circumstances beyond my control. Whatever the case is, we are getting a lot of produce. Thank you, sweetheart. These Ooh. beans are phenomenal. Um, nice. I don't remember the name of them, but I've they're these uh, heirloom purple stripes. They let's see if I can find a purple one here. There it is. Oh, I see the purple on it. These this is my second year growing them. They have produced so bountifully. I think we're up to 28, 30 five quarts of green beans we've canned so far and there are still yeah, we're gonna do this is probably gonna be at least another seven maybe maybe 14 oh here there you go I didn't realize you were showing having me see how purple but they turn green when you cook them they're really cool yeah. and there's our bucket from one of the gardens and we're gonna go to Tomatoes. the back gardens and pick some more accidentally picked a carrot so Oops. Mostly yeah. beans in there. <laughs> I found some dill in the pathway, so I decided to plant in it. Plant yeah. it in here. You're gonna make your own dill? Yes. What are you gonna do with it? Mm, use it for pickles. That sounds good. Okay. And a bucket of weeds for the chickens. Pumpkin oh, right. squash. Yeah. You coming, Daniel? And over here. What, what do you got? Oh, yes. The kids love watching the bees. Look at that. Look at the pollen. Yeah. Oh, dang. You want to pop this one? Show the viewers what oh. happened. Show them the poppers, Mary. Go ahead and show them. Watch out for bees. Okay, these are. What the kids call poppers, you squeeze it, they'll find another one. Okay. And you squeeze it and then it goes pop and the seeds go flying out. Okay, oh, this one's a nice one. Okay, watch, watch this. Do you see that? Let's find another one for them to see. Pop. You see how it goes pop? Let's see, here's... Okay, I'm going to pop this one for you. Hey, Papa I'm going to pop this one for you, watch this. Another thing I need to do, I'm going to do this later today, is pick the peaches. Look at all those beautiful, well, almost beautiful peaches. There are some, there's a little bit of rot on them and you need to cut out the bad spots, but a lot of really nice peaches this year. Janelle is harvesting the eggplant. Looks like we got a big one there. Yeah, it is a big oh, one. Lily, you're back! What you nice. Oh, look what she got! <gasps> a whole box of chalk? Hey, you got Wow, good job! So Lillian and Charity just got back from the library. Lillian won this from the summer reading program, from job, reading Lily. books. So Janelle's getting more uh, eggplants. I am going to pick some beans. They're really tall. I have to stand on a bucket to get at the top ones there. The beans have really outdone themselves this year. How many pounds have we gotten? Well, Are we at 50 we're pounds at yet? Quarts we've canned. And then we've eaten then a lot we've of them too. We've given some away. Seven, probably close to 14 here today. So right. So that doesn't include what we've already eaten. Right. So a fabulous year. These beans outdo themselves. I tell you, if you have an opportunity to pull beans on bean teepees, you will not go wrong with them. Okay, so I am going to climb up and get those beans at the top. Another one. Another eggplant. I think we're going to be making more baba ganoush. Yes, I think so. Let's see, are there any more that I'm missing? Not... Look at that, Daniel's looking for poppers too. You found one? Yeah. You can pop it. Pop it. Here's one. Oh. 
right at the camera. It was hard to really do that at the same time. Hard to film and catch at the same time. Yes. Now we're doing the zucchinis and yellow squash. I'm not. Oh yeah, we do have a yellow squash right put, there. One. There's one right there too. Oh, we can still shred it and use it. So now Janelle's looking for eggplant, eggplant I think. Yeah, this guy. He's definitely ready. Oh yeah. Wow. Can you catch and film? I'll try. Got it. Another big right. Is any of the corn ready yet? I don't think so. I don't know. Ooh. Got it. I don't know if I, I can. I don't think you can catch it. Oh yeah, okay, just try. See if I can do it. Ah. Hi. Nope. And look at this over here. A big, huge pumpkin growing on, along the fence. I had to put a brick underneath it because it was, uh, well, too big and it was hanging in the air. So I didn't want it to break off. And there is a nice spaghetti squash. Tomatoes. And I'm going to put the knife in there, okay? Okay. I'm going to have more, though. Right down the row. I usually stay out of this garden because my big feet tend to step on yeah, vines. This is, this is not my normal. You know, first year gardens are hard because you just don't know how everything's going to work out. But next year, we got some plans, some changes, and it'll be better. These well, potatoes, I would say this is pretty good though. I think the potatoes are almost done too. Okay. I'm finally done with the roof. There it is. And that was a lot of work. One of you guys got Charity this cute little sign right there. Now all I have to do is pick up my big mess in the yard. Wow, what a day it has been. We didn't end up filming the rest of the day. It was all hands on deck, finishing the chicken coop. It got done. Yay! Elderberries got picked. Five pounds, six ounces of elderberries. Put them in the freezer. So probably next week I'll work on processing them. But they're easier to remove from the stems when they're frozen. So they're in the freezer. And well, tomorrow's a new day. I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks so much for coming along. Hope you guys are having a fabulous day. And we'll see you for our next video. Good night.